I've got to go. Vivat Docilio. Fortis Docilio! Would you mind checking this, uh, adult again? I think your computer may have made a mistake. No, I don't think that's possible. But I'd be happy to humor you. I've got to go. Vivat Docilio. Fortis Docilio! the help. Not sure what you're talking about there, stranger. I'm just minding my business at this here booth. Right. I must have confused you with someone else. Twenty-six million. Do I hear twenty-seven? Small price for this thick slice of heaven. It's the first mining vehicle that fully functions in space. Make your bid now, or you'll have egg on your face. Going once, going twice, to Solaris's CEO. When it gets released in thirty-five years, he'll be rolling in the dough. So. Of and now, as a sacrifice to our manatee, you, we temporarily bequeath this tribute to you. Vivat Docilio, Fortis Docilio. Vivat Docilio, Fortis Docilio. What a bunch of creeps. So, wait. Hab is in charge of Decilio? Ah, makes sense. He started consulting for us right around the time Sebastian went missing. Uh, he, he probably made a deal with Penderbrook so he could use our office as his private war room. I bet that computer's why he's able to rhyme so well. What kind of person just speaks in haiku? Our next acquisition on the vehicular docket is bound to make your stock skyrocket. We're holding this car back because it's a threat to big oil, running only on plants, water, air, and soil. It won't hit the world till 2038, but trust me, friends, it's well worth the wait. Now, before we begin in this beauteous show, are there any objections to the manner in which this was dealt with? Hmm, that didn't sound right at all. Looks like that augmentation's starting to wear off. Time to speak up. I object! The ficus and its inventor should both be released. You've overstepped your bounds and we're all being fleeced. It's time to elect a brand new sooth maker. 
The one we have now is a real troublemaker. The challenge to the suit maker from a legacy member. Bring her up to the stage so I can crush this contender. Wait a minute, that rhyme was off too. Is it possible I'm coming down with the flu? You gonna debate me or what? Very well. <coughs> All statements we make must rhyme like a poem. If you can't pull that off, you'll be asked to go home. Winner shall be determined by popular vote. I elect to go first since I've warmed up my throat. Knock yourself out. Round one. <coughs> For years I've kept this world more docile and calm, holding back discoveries that would hit like a bomb. Letting this car go would be the deadliest error. That you think we should shows you're no fortune, uh, Della. Personal attack. Technology is only a threat when it's bound to succeed. But this pathetic vehicle can be stopped by a weed. It's destined to make its manufacturer broke. Seeing it as a threat makes us look like a joke. Hear that? And I did it without having to resort to a slant run. Uh, I was only slant rhyming to give you a chance. But if you want a true challenge, come on now, let's dance! Round two. Think of the loopy inventor we'd have to set free. Setting him loose out there would give us a new... Uh, uh, a new... Redemption. That's not even close to a rhyme. It's the opposite of what I meant. This devious charlatan's trying to change my intent. Overreaching. Oh, right. Change of rules. We no longer need to rhyme. In fact, if anyone does, they'll receive a small fine. Penalty. Ah. Round three, three, three. Okay, let's say we release this. You know what happens next? 300 million cars, obsolete. Oil, worthless. A worldwide economic collapse the likes of which have never been seen. Is that what you want, hmm? is it? Fear monger. Why spend all this time storing that kook in our jail? If we just sabotage his product, it'll disappear and fail. Public humiliation is a better fate for that fool. Opponents of Decilio deserve to have their punishment. Cruel. Hardline. Ah, I, I said no more rhyming and I meant what I said. I'm deducting a point until you get it through your thick, uh, skull. Penalty. 
You meant to say head, right? Fine. Fine! You want to set this car free? Then what do we do with the inventor? He's seen all our rituals, the entire epicenter! Oh, it's working again! Penalty removed! He escaped once before and probably will again. Another Docilio problem from the Soothmaker's awful brain. No, this new cell is impossible to escape. Oh, so you knowingly put him in an easy to escape cell. Sounds like the judgment of someone mentally unwell. D -d 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 Double personal attack! And the winner is... Challenger! What? She can't be the new suit maker? Docilites, can't you see? This woman's ideas are just as misshapen as the body that makes them. Hey, that's just mean. You got in there, didn't you? You got in there and messed with my head. I couldn't access my rhymes. It was like my brain was, uh... Dead? Guards, bring Mr. Cartwright to me and remove this man from the stage. Uh, I'll never run again. Light. Not anymore, we're not. <laughs> what are you doing here? We're here to rescue Sebastian and undo the damage we've been a part of. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think we can allow that. Guards, put these three in the zoo. What's that noise? Is that a helicopter? We're not shelving one of those this year. Turn! Wait! We're getting out of your hab and we're taking Sebastian with us. Are you sure you don't want to be a part of our world instead? A bunch of masked weirdos burying cool stuff in the woods? I think I'm good. You might have forgotten that Brasilia holds back all kinds of advancements. Culture, science, technology, medical breakthroughs. Uh-oh. We shelved the one you want about ten years back. Real miracle cure. Almost took some myself, but I like it cool up top. We decided it'd be too big a hit on the hat industry. Not to mention weeks. You look different, by the way. Older? Less confident? Turn, we have to go now. Oh, don't let my rambling stop you. You'll be able to get it once it hits the market. In about 60 years. No, I... I want it now. I think you'll find Asilio can be pretty accommodating, especially when it comes to our own. Come on, Turn. Now or never. What do you say, Turn? Isn't it about time you join the side you've been working for all these years? You can't do this, Turn. Why not? Because... Because you look better this way, trust me. 
You think you can toy me with flattery? <laughs> I threw my entire career away for a shot at this, even betrayed my partner. That was the old you. You've changed since then. When you were trapped on that rooftop, I could have blackmailed you into coming down to help me, but I didn't. I let you make the decision for yourself because I knew you'd do the right thing. Do you really want to go back to the way things were before? The person you really were back then? Of course I do. But we have a mission to complete. Bring her up, Horace. We got a car that needs releasing. What? No! You won't be able to hide from us forever. Sooner or later, you'll run into a member. That's still a slant rhyme. Ah, what's wrong with me tonight? What are you waiting for? We can't stick around here. They're gonna be looking all over for us. Which is why you need to call. Unless you can think of another place we can go. <sighs> PCI Limited. Um, hi. This is, uh... Barney Turner, I'd like to speak with... One moment, please. If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. Cynthia? Turn? It's actually you. I... I'm, uh... I'm, I'm sorry to bother you like this. It's just, I, uh... I, I really need your help. I've heard that one before. I know. You have every right to hang up on me, especially after what I put you through. That was selfish of me, and, and I should have never... If forgiveness was the reason you're calling, you would have done it years ago. Let's just get to the pitch. They're after you, aren't they? How do you know about... Your assistant filled me in. Knew me, right? Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't call her the new you, exactly. I mean, you both have similar qualities, but... Uh, oh, you meant her name. Look, the Bloodhounds have been trying to find proof of Decilio for a while now. If that's something the two of you can help with, I can send over a car right now. That'd be perfect! Just do me a favor, and leave that stupid wig at home. I, uh, I, I already got rid of it. Numi convinced me that it looked silly. Well then, it sounds like she's doing you a world of good. She is, actually. She really is. <laughs> <laughs> 